Hi, Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching, and today I want to talk about three feminine traits that will increase attraction, draw, and magnetism in any stage of love, dating, and relationships. For those of you new to my channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. I release a video weekly. This is a subject I get lots of questions on, so I really want to take a little bit of time to further dive into this topic and things that you can do that are authentic and that connect you to who you naturally are and bring that balance and harmony into your body so you can naturally just draw this beauty out in others and create a flow in love that allows it to feel effortless, fun, and not so grueling and like something that is just done with so much hard work or force. So let's dive into this. Number one, you understand the dance of polarity, meaning if you desire a masculine energy partner or a masculine energy man, this is never gender exclusive, that is moving things forward, that is the visionary, that is the leader, that is the initiator, then you understand that it's necessary to be the counterbalance to that, meaning that you are the receiver, that you are open, that there is that softness, that embodiment of trust, of faith, and allowing. Because if both of you are in the same energy, it's going to lead to a lot of friction. What would once be considered protective, cherishing, and adoring, turns into competition, conquering, defeating type of um, energy, and it won't feel good. And so it's really critical that we recognize where we feel our best in relationship. And if it is in his pursuing and his initiative, and men do fall in love when they're giving, so our ability to receive that being really a critical and key component around how he feels when in your presence, it's very important to be able to balance this dance. And it doesn't mean that you're just allowing him to do everything all of the time. Of course, it's deeply nuanced and we're multifaceted, right? So we're not going to always just be in our feminine energy, but we have this balance and we're more often in it in partnership than not. And we use that masculine part of us for the areas where it's required to get things done, to be self-directed, to set up initiatives and goals for ourselves. But we have that, that awareness that we don't always need it in relationship. And how can we sort of be the polarity so we allow him to shine and therefore allow ourselves to shine and surrender and deepen in our ability to trust and receive. So it becomes this really beautiful opportunity to get to know yourself on an entirely new level and to deepen your trust and faith in what you can't see yet, which leads me to number two, where I wanna talk about feeling your emotions. Because so much of what motivates us to go into our masculine energy can be fear-based because we're scared to feel our emotions. We're scared to feel disappointed. We're scared to feel let down. We're scared to feel any level of disappointment or discomfort. So we start doing things to preemptively get more comfortable or avoid having to feel anything negative, which of course, leads to us feeling less of everything because we don't get to pick which emotions we feel and which ones we don't. And so instead, we're practicing growing in our ability to be able to deal with anything that comes our way. And we embrace truth knowing that that's what sets us free and that's what allows us to see if it's what we want and if it's going to be in our best interest and for him to really show us who he is unaltered and undistorted. And so it's in your ability to allow and see who he is and experience all of the emotions that come in life on a deeper level 
without preemptively trying to fix them or reacting to any fear or discomfort inside. Because as you embody this practice, you will feel everything on a deeper level and your life experience will be so much more rich and colorful as a result of building this trust, faith, and resiliency within yourself. Number three, you don't engage in just negative behaviors such as gossip or talking about everything that's wrong in the world or just all of the dark spots that you see. We want to make sure that our mental diet is really good so we are not just focusing on everything that's wrong, but we're seeing all of the beauty, all of the opportunity, and all of the possibility that is ahead of and is ahead for us in life. And we're really bringing our attention there so we can draw out the best in others when they're around us. This doesn't mean that you're this Pollyanna that has to be in a great mood all the time. It just means though that there's balance and you don't put your energy on things that are petty and that are just rooted in negativity or feeling really restrictive because of course, we have the opportunity to elevate others. And as we elevate others, we connect to the soul aspects within ourselves. And so we're very conscious to be really integrated and balanced in this way where we see the good, we actively put our focus on seeing the good, we water the flowers, and we take those opportunities for others to be a little bit brighter and lighter when they're in our presence. A masculine energy man or partner will see this and he will feel it. It is so beautiful and attractive, but when he sees you being low or threatened or negative or dark or petty for no reason, for a high quality masculine energy man, this is a huge turnoff. And so I invite you not only for him, but for yourself to really embody the practice of what are you focusing on and where can you align it to be rooted in something that is more positive, that is more hopeful, and that really draws out the best within yourself and others. I have no doubt if you apply these three things, you will see impactful changes in your love life. And I would love to hear if you've practiced this for a while or if you're new to practicing it. So please share in the comments below. And if you'd like to learn more about this topic as well as what I do, please visit my site, jenmichellecoaching.com. I offer a variety of different digital programs as well as private and group coaching. I also have a new quiz on my site. So check out the site at jenmichellecoaching.com. The quiz is on the lower half of the page. I'll link it below to find out what your attraction style is and ways you can start to bring out more of this balance that I shared here today in your own love life. Much love.